हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन पोर्ट नंबर एंड प्रोटोकॉल नंबर दिस इज अ यूजर डिमांड वीडियो वन ऑफ माय सब्सक्राइबर हैज रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक वन वीडियो ऑन पोर्ट नंबर एंड प्रोटोकॉल नंबर सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस इच एंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट पोर्ट नंबर एंड protocol number we will understand what is the use of protocol number what is the use of port number what is the difference between port number and protocol number so if you have any confusion between port number and protocol number please watch this video till the end in this video i will show you practically as well what is the use of protocol number and port number so without wasting our time let's begin so guys see first difference is port number is used at layer 4 at layer 4 means at transport layer at transport layer so port number is used at transport layer and protocol number is used at layer 3 means at network layer at network layer means port number will be provided by transport layer and protocol number will be provided by network layer okay so we will understand how with the help of header right as you know at transport layer there are two protocol running first one is tcp and second one is udp right in both header in tcp header or in udp header there is one field called source port and destination port as well right there will be one field as source port and one field for destination port in the same way at network layer in ip header there is one field called protocol field called field called protocol field and protocol field is 8 bits value right so in protocol field ip protocol will add protocol number and at transport layer tcp or udp protocol will add port number right and port number is 16 bits value so it will add transport layer protocol like tcp or udp will add source port and destination ports so combination of source port and destination ports is 32 bits address right so if i will talk about tcp header so tcp header look like this source port and destination port so here tcp or udp will add source port and destination port fine now here see the second difference port number is used to identify application layer services right port number is used to identify application layer services that which service we are using at application layer okay at transport layer at transport layer machine will identify application layer service with the help of port number that which service we are using at application layer but if i will talk about protocol number so see protocol number is used used to identify protocol which is encapsulated with ip header means at layer 3 at network layer how we identify protocol with the help of protocol number right that means traffic of which protocol is encapsulated with ip header whenever transport layer will receive segment from transport whenever network layer will receive segment from transport layer network layer will add ip header in ip header there will be one field called protocol field in protocol field if protocol number of tcp will present that means this is a traffic of which protocol that means this is a traffic of tcp protocol if in protocol field value will be protocol number of udp that means this is a traffic of which protocol udp protocol if in protocol field there will be protocol number of ospf that means this is a traffic of ospf so how network layer will identify protocol with the help of protocol number and how transport layer will identify application layer services with the help of port number right and with the help of protocol number network layer will identify protocol fine now here you can see third difference port number is 16 bits value and protocol number is 8 bits value port number is provided by transport layer and protocol number is 
will provided by network layer guys let me take one example of any application layer services like uh, telnet suppose i have one router suppose i have two router r1 and r2 suppose here ip address here i am running is 1.1.1.1 here i am running 1.1.1.2 and i have enabled telnet on this machine on router 2 and i want to access router 2 from router 1 so from router 1 i can access router 2 through which protocol through telnet protocol and as you know telnet is an application layer protocol it is an application layer protocol so router 1 will identify telnet traffic at layer 4 that it is an telnet traffic or how when r1 will send telnet request to r2 how r2 will came to know that this is a message for telnet at layer 4 so at layer 4 at transport layer r2 will check what destination port and if destination port is port number of telnet then this order will came to know that this is a traffic of telnet let me check is this service enable on me or not if this service is enable let me hand over this traffic to telnet right if the service is not enable then router 2 will drop at which layer at transport layer but again when r1 will generate telnet request r1 will generate telnet request at which layer at application layer right wait r1 will generate telnet request at application layer this is telnet traffic then it will hand over to transport layer now what transport layer will do transport layer will add source port and destination port here source port will be random port number and destination port will be port number of telnet right then transport layer will hand over to transport layer will hand over to network layer and network layer will add ip header in ip header there will be information of source ip that is 1.1 destination ip that is 1.2 and protocol in protocol field there will be protocol number of tcp because telnet is an application layer service which uses tcp at layer 4 when after that network layer will hand over to data link layer data link layer will add source mac destination mac and type field then data link layer will hand over to physical layer physical layer will convert it into bits and then bits into signal then it will forward on this link right when r2 will receive r2 will receive at physical layer physical layer will convert signal into bits bits into frame and then hand over frame to data link layer a data link layer data link layer will check what destination mac so dest if destination mac address will be the mac address of router 2 then router will check type field in type field there will be information of ipv4 so definitely data link layer will hand over to ip protocol now ip protocol when ip protocol will receive ip protocol will check destination ip so destination ip is 1.1.2 okay so this is traffic for me let me check further information they will check protocol field and with the help of this protocol field with the help of protocol number in protocol field there will be protocol number of protocol which is encapsulated with ip header right so in protocol field there will be protocol number of tcp so it will remove network layer will remove ip header and they will hand over segment to tcp right when trans at transport layer tcp will open the segment they will came to know that des destination port is 23 that means this is a traffic of telnet and then router 2 will hand over to telnet right so port number is used to identify application layer services and protocol number is used to identify which protocol is encapsulated with ip header let me show you practically guys let me configure let me drag and draw two router here this is my router one and suppose this is my router two let me connect these two router together 
f0 slash 0 to f0 slash 0 let me show you port as well so see and let me configure IP address okay and let me capture the link so that I can show you telnet traffic okay now I am going to configure R1 first so config t interface f0 slash 0 say no set and IP address is 1.1.1 suppose 1.1.1 submit mask 255.255.255.0 exit fine let me configure R2 and let me enable tailnet on R2 as well so first of all let me configure IP interface f0 slash 0 say no set and IP address IP address will be 1.1.2 255.255.255.0 exit do ping 1.1.1 let me check connectivity so yes I am able to ping 1.1.1 so there is connectivity between router 1 and router 2 let me configure telnet so line vty 0 4 password is suppose 1 2 3 and say login and let me in let me configure enable password as well enable password is also suppose 1 2 3 fine now I can tell net router 2 from router 1 so go to router number 1 and tell net 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 mm -hmm. okay password is 1 2 3 enable password is again 1 2 3 so so IP interface brief exclude and assign so you can see I have access of router 2 now let me show you a packet telnet packet so where is my capturing here this is my capturing so let me open telnet traffic so this is TCP connection right telnet is TCP based service so first they will stabilize TCP connection and see this is telnet message this is telnet message and guys here you can see telnet message at which layer this message will generate at application layer this is TC, uh, telnet message right and at layer 4 you can see source port and destination port source port is random port number and destination port is port number of telnet that is 23 right destination port is port so who is sending this traffic 1.1.12 2.2.2 so at layer 3 R2 will came to know that someone is sending one packet for me because destination IP address is 1.2 and 1.2 is my IP address right so it will check protocol field right because R2 have to check that I have to hand over this packet I have to hand over packet to which protocol right so it will open IP header and in IP header you can see protocol number is 6 and 6 is protocol number of TCP right so at layer 3 at network layer R2 will came to know that right so there is one message message of which protocol message of TCP so it will remove IP header and it will hand over TCP packet to to TCP protocol at layer 4 and at layer 4, 4 TCP protocol will check what destination port and destination port is what 23 then transport layer will came to know that this is a traffic of telnet so I have to hand over this traffic to which protocol to telnet right so first of all R2 will check protocol field at layer 3 at layer 3 then router 2 will came to know that this is traffic of TCP right so it will hand over to 
TCP protocol. It will hand over segment to TCP protocol. Actually, at layer three, at network layer, R2 will receive packet. Packet means what? Packet means two thing: segment plus IP header. So, at network layer, network layer will remove IP header and it will hand over segment to transport layer. At transport layer to which protocol TCP protocol and in segment there is again two in two things first one is traffic of telnet plus TCP header so in TCP header there will be information of port number so destination port is 23 that means this is traffic of telnet so transport layer will remove TCP header and it will hand over telnet traffic to telnet at application layer okay so this is all about port number and protocol number there is nothing guys hope now it's clear to you what is the difference between port number and protocol number if yes don't forget to hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel and if you have any doubt if you have any if you have a, a still any doubt please let me know in comment definitely i will make one more video on port number and protocol number okay guys so that's all for today thanks for watching thanks for investing your important time we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye